I first started chasing carp around in Colorado on the fly on the South Flat back in the late 70s and early 80s, exploring the areas, checking out the areas, and, and going down and slowly became addicted to the stocking of the fish, to hunting down the fish, and learning how to properly present a fly to a fish that nobody thought would eat a fly, and thought that they would only eat garbage and trash, and nothing could be further from the truth. I have a lot of people ask me why I fly fish for carp. There's few fish in fresh water that possess the power of the common carp. Um, when's the last time you had a 12-inch trout take you 100 yards into your back? Carp are going to do that on a regular basis. That to me is the big draw, is the ability to go out and see these fish, present a fly to them, and then hook them up and get my real smoke. These fish are so sophisticated that nine times out of ten, they're going to grade your fly time and, and reject the fly before they're going to eat it. That's how selective carp can be. And it's eye-opening when people go out that's never done it before. When you break through that barrier where you figure out some consistency to catch these fish, and it's not any book that I've written or any DVD, but once you break through that barrier, you're, 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 you're in deep, you're hooked for life, and uh, you'll become a carpaholic just like me. Oh, I see that the day there's not a bigger, stronger, more intelligent fish that's going to leave you a better angler and give you the joy of getting your clock cleaned.